Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Outside corners and woven materials. Grass cloth. You can see the corner of this wall in the center of your screen. How do you keep grass cloth down on an outside corner? Ideally, after an outside corner, you want four inches of wall covering. Ideally. Six is even better, but four to six inches is acceptable. I, I submit to you that you cannot keep the outside corner down without getting what I call fat corners. And that is corners that end up with large amounts of air whereby tapping on the corner, you can hear the air. Now, if you see my video series on Philip Jeffrey's Manila Hemp Fat Corners, uh, I forget the exact name of the video, but you'll see where I provide the remedy for uh, fixing fat corners. But here I'm going to show you how to prevent them. Now, if you're very astute, you'll say, well, why didn't you prevent it in the first video? But then you would be assuming that I did it, right? Okay, well, actually I did. I did do it, I was the culprit and I fixed it. Okay, so here's the remedy. Vinyl over vinyl paste. Vinyl over vinyl. Call your local paint store, ask them if they have vinyl over vinyl paste. I'm telling you, this is like crazy glue for wallpaper hangers. You see how I'm getting it in there on the other side? Now, you might say, why are you putting it in there now? Why didn't you do it already? Well, the answer is this. You want it wet. So that corner was an easy fixing before I went on video. I had a lot to do and anybody who hangs paper looks straight ahead. You already know that putting grass cloth inside of that one and a quarter of inch of space is not easy, not easy. So I left the outside corner for the end of the task of putting the sheet up. Okay, lots of paste in there. Both sides. Okay, get that paste in there, work it in. I'm telling you, this will prevent your fat corner. Why do you get air in the corners? Because your paper separates from the corner. What happens when you have space? You get air, right? Now I just washed my hands, okay? And I tell you that because it's an important part of the procedure. Very important part. Because you're going to be massaging the wall covering at the corner. And I am massaging it. Okay, I'm simply pushing the fat of my hand against the wall covering. Notice how I'm not using a hard object. 
just the fat of my my hand pressing into it because this is a place where you can easily overdo it with the smoother okay I'm going to do the same thing going up so that before I secure this side, this side is tight. Now, that's what we're doing. We're going to be bending it onto here. Now we're going to do, after having massaged this side of it, we're going to make what I call a crease impression. Now, let me just say one thing. Do you see why you don't want 20 inches of wall covering after the corner? Can you imagine how difficult that would be? Okay, so our paste is wet, okay? So I'm making my crease impression. Again, clean hands. And I'm working 20 inches. I'm pushing 20 inches. Okay. Now, when I get this secured, I want to secure it down to keep it down because otherwise it's not going to stay down. when you get grass cloth. Okay, let's do it again. You see what's happening? I'm securing this around this corner. All right, let's do it again. So my paste is, is wet. I'm making sure of that. In fact, I'm gonna add a little. We're not talking about Tacky, we need it wet. I start at the corner and I push it in. Okay, you know how to do it. You know what you're doing. You're bending something around the corner. So you're gonna start at the corner, right? Okay. Oh boy. Looking good. Now, oh man, that looks so good. Okay. Okay. I'm wiping it on my pants just in case I got a little wetness on my hand. Okay. Now. You notice I'm resisting the temptation to push that hard plastic smoother up against it? You know I want to do it. You know that. But this would really make the corner turn color. I'm not touching the corner, I'm just, I'm on this side. I'm far away from the corner. The corner's here. I'm just pushing it in, okay? I might just go nice and easy just to push out any air. But you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it, okay? This is mostly between the soft flesh of your hand and the other side of the corner. We're not on the corner, we're on each side of it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to do that for the duration of this wall, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll give you the time frame I want you to work with in order to keep this in place. Believe it or not, it's not that long of a time period. 
Okay, this is about five minutes from the last frame of this video. And look at that tight corner. Now, all we got to do is keep it, right? Now, did you notice I had to reapply the vinyl over vinyl paste as I was going along? Did you notice that? What does that tell you? That it sets up quickly. And so you don't have to keep this in place that long. 10 minutes. Okay, look at how beautifully sharp that is. Okay, so we're going to bring our next sheet onto this and we're gonna do our double cut. Put some plastic over this thing. Now, with a level So what I'm gonna have to do first is this alarm issue.
Okay, we got it done. We got it done. If this works out, what a challenge. What a beautiful challenge, you know? I mean, this is not easy to do. And, uh... It's very gratifying to, to get it done and to do it well. Let's see how I did. Anybody who cuts wallpaper, you know, <laughs> you know this is a nail biter. For those of you who don't, trust me, my greatest fear was that my edge was not over wallpaper underneath it. And it makes the whole effort meaningless if you miss overlapping the wall covering properly. As they say in medicine, you're not out of the woods yet. 
Let's see. Success. Let me show you. I am so happy you have no idea. I don't know what I just did to my camera, but I pressed exposure. Look, look at this. Remember we taped our corner to keep it down, right? gratifying to accomplish <laughs> what I just did and uh, I only say that because after hanging this product for years I can tell you it can be very disappointing when you're cutting around multiple obstacles in the product protrusions like an alarm box and an outlet and then a socket and and be dealing with having to come around the corner. Let me show you how good this looks. Now, for those folks who are new to grass cloth, the color variation that you see from here to here is completely normal. It's part of the reason why people buy grass cloth. They like that. It's called the paneling. So I promised you tight corners. And there you have it.